All right, so everyone knows FC24 is a, a flop. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. To say the least. Um, I've, I've already stopped playing it myself. Uh, especially after Team of the Year, it just it died when, what a surprise, they made a mistake and gave about half the people Lionel Messi Team of the Year. So, we're going to go through. I've got, the, I've got the FC24 Twitter up here. We're going to go through every single mistake they've made this year. I don't know how many that is. But it could be loads. So as I say bye, Dortmund team this year. Uh, because I'm never touching it again. It's absolutely awful. Dog shit. I'll, I'll play career mode, you know. I do play a bit of clubs, but yeah, Dortmund team's finished. So, going from the top. And we'll, go, we'll, go from, uh, we'll go from September. You can probably hear me scrolling down. It's taking a while. I'll go through every downtime maintenance as well. So, let's see how bad this game really is. We'll start from... It came out at the end of September. So... Here we go. 25th of September, we are investigating reports of some players losing connection to their opponents while trying to play drop-in matches in clubs. Okay, fair enough. We'll not, we'll not use that one. So they moved Ultimate Team Champions on the 27th of September to October 6th. There's 1.1 thousand comments on that. I don't think that's good. Then, on the 21st of September, they temporarily removed, they temporarily removed the Foundation 5 SBC group due to issues identified with a formation in the group. It took them about a week and a half to give them conversation. That's the 2nd of November, 2nd of October, brilliant. On the 25th of September, they're investigating an issue impacting the Ada Hegerberg player item. Players who have this item in their active squad will not be able to start a match until the item is removed from the squad. It took them until the 5th of October to fix that. That's over 10 days. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. I think, I don't know. There you go, first one. 9th of October 2023, we have an unscheduled maintenance for FIFA. This is 2022 on PS4, plus I'm still counting that. On the 6th of October, they address an issue where the base version of Pedro Rodriguez was available in packs, being corrected to the item's intended rarity. And it took them a week to give them compensation, which I don't know how it takes them a week to do that, but okay. There you go, 18th of October, scheduled maintenance, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. 12th of October. It's going to be a long video, I think. I'll have to put something in the background to entertain because it's going to take a while. The Join the Club 3 pre-season reward was incorrectly giving players an 85 times 5 player pack. The reward had been temporarily disabled while we addressed the issue. So, it took them 6 days to do that. The correct pack was sent on the 18th of October after it was wronged on the 12th. Then players on Microsoft platforms on the 18th of October. We are investigating problems of Reports of players on Microsoft platforms receiving error messages when attempting to start message matches. Please, 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 fuck right off. EA Sports FC, 19th of October, admit we've added a new issue to the EAFC tracker that we're investigating. The ball can incorrectly stick to a dribbler's leg as they run in some situations. Fucking hell, man. Then, from the 19th of October to the 30th of October, they finally patched it, but 10 days prior to that, they just disabled it. And then on the 4th of November, finally we're in November, we are seeing reports of some players not re receiving free rare gold player items rated 86 or higher from the Elite Centurion Week 2 pack. Four days later, early for FC24 I have to admit, compensation was sent. Then on the 11th of November, untradeable packs just got removed entirely from the Ultimate Team Store. No reason why, didn't even say why. Updates were provided in this thread as they become available. They didn't give it any updates. I am Jose Mourinho. 15th of November, we have a maintenance on November 15th, 7 o'clock a.m. till 2 p.m. So you can't play FC then. 17th of November, we all read that the FC Pro Open Diego Jota objective group does not currently feature a way to upgrade 86 overrated Diego Jota. 24th of November, the Jared Muller Thunderstruck player item released today had incorrect dribbling. The item has since been updated with a plus one dribbling upgrade. We do not care. Oh, this is the worst. I think this is one of the worst ones. Here we go. 29th of November. Earlier today, the Thunderstruck on Titty player item a release with an 85 instead of an 86 over. And the Thunderstruck Croy player item had the Tiki Taka Plus playstyle instead of the Power Shot Plus playstyle. Both player items have now been corrected. And if you think that was bad enough, on the same day, 29th of November, those who obtained the Thunderstruck Croy's player item through the transfer market before the playstyle update will be sent their ultimate team coins and contacted in the game, which they still kept the player and they kept the coins, which is ridiculous. So they basically got two Croy's for free. Bit physically sick, to be honest. 29th of November, 
We are investigating reports of some players seeing inconsistent chemistry calculations, specifically on the web and mobile companions. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Right, we're still in, de we're in, de we're in December now. Oh no, we're not we're back in November. We are aware that some players did not receive the correct rewards from the FC Pro Objective Completionist, which happened to me. Impacted players will be sent one untradeable Jumbo Rare players pack and 15,000 XP in game in the coming days. So that was on the 23rd of November. On the 6th of December, the compensation was sent. Ridiculous. On the same date, the 6th of December, earlier today, Thunderstruck upgraded two player items, incorrectly received only one playstyle. This issue has been addressed and the affected player items have now been given a second playstyle. 13th of December, wow, 13th of December. So, scheduled maintenance on December the 13th, 7am until 7.30am. It's only half an hour, but it's not the point. And it did not take half an hour in the end. 13th of December, we are investigating reports of some players being unable to connect to Volta and will provide an update in this thread when available. It was the same day to be fair, but you know, you're paying 50 quid. 18th of December, earlier today, the Euro Ambassador player items were unintentionally released in packs. It has been corrected the item's intended rarity. So, three days later, compensation, correct player items in game. Jeez, oh, are we in 2024 now? Uh, not really. Junjo Shelby, Winter Wildcards player item, released today and had the incorrect league. The item has been updated with the correct league, 29th of December. 4th of January this year, impacted players have been sent back their ultimate team coins. Thank you for your patience. Oh, this is a long one, this. 3rd of January, we have identified an issue with the 83 plus team of the week player pick. Well, one of the 83 plus team of the week player pick is not giving the players the correct player item. We have taken down this SBC while we work to correct the issue. So, 3rd of January, 9th of January, impacted players have been sent their correct one of 83 plus team of the week player pick in game. Thanks for your patience. That changes everything. 10th of January, we have maintenance on January the 10th. 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock. I've been recording for 10 minutes and I'm only in January now. Whew. Oh my word. 15th of January. We have identified an issue where Alex Tellers was incorrectly advertised as part of the Fire and Ice Team 2 starting on Friday 6pm instead of the mini release on Saturday 6pm. Players who receive the base code will be messaged in game with the correct content in the coming days. Coming days, four days later, effective players have been sent the correct version of Alex Tellers in game. Thanks for your patience. <sighs> Okay, 19th of January, Team of the Year is released. 19th of January, same day, we were investigating reports of players experiencing some gameplay impacting issues during EA Sport 23. EA Sport, EA, what a stupid name, EA Sports FC 24 matches. If you're experiencing an issue, shut down the title and completely relaunch it. Great advice. Restart the game, please. Was that that Friday? I don't, it might have been. I think it was that Friday where the game was just an absolute mess and you couldn't play it. I don't have footage of that, but there's plenty of it. 28th of January, we have identified an issue with it. I swear there's never conversation with this, by the way. The 87 plus base triple threat UCL and UC UWCL heroes play pick was incorrectly given out 86 plus items, which happened to me, and I've still not got compensation. I want a moonwalk, son, but life's a shit house. Well, allegedly, a day later, they corrected the. Oh no, right, okay, we have corrected the issue with the 87 plus, and the SBC is now live again. Players who received incorrect player items will be messaged in the game with the correct player items in the coming days, which they weren't. They still have them. That was nearly a month ago. 30th of January. Well, I've ident this is bad. I've had this um, was this the worst one? This or the Cruyff one? Hmm. This, I think this one This one threw me off, so I'll stop playing after this. 13,000 comments, 12,000 likes, 11 million views. We have identified an issue with the 86 plus Team of the Year League SBC. As a result, we've disabled the SBC. They got community noted, but it's um, got taken down. Interesting, it's gone now. So. That's, uh, I'm speechless, you know, that's so bad. 30th of January, oh, I don't, oh no, it's the same thing. 31st of January, sorry. We have our maintenance on January 30th, 6am, 6 no, 6 up to 6.30am. We don't care. During this time, you won't be able to play, basically. It's just ridiculous. Oh, here we go. This is the community note. So 2nd of February, we're in this month now. Update on Team of the Year 86 Plus League SBC. Uh, they were community noted. They basically said that it is what it is. We're not changing anything. Shut your bitch ass up! Uh, readers added context they thought people might want to know. The figures quoted in this article are unclear slash misleading. It states that 0.7% of players obtain a Team of the Year Messi item. It fails to declare what that is a representation of. We don't know whether that is active players total players or just players who complete the 86 plus leagues SBC. They were previously community noted saying that it most likely wasn't a mistake and it was on purpose for some scheme to get FIFA points, which they always are doing. So yeah, if I ever make get pretty big, I guess I'm never getting a sponsor by FC24. Shame, shame, what a shame. So 
five days ago, this was the 5th of November, 5th of February, the Matteo Gunduesi uh, RTTF player item was released with the incorrect league. The item has been updated with the correct league. Those who obtained the card player item through the transfer market before the league update will be sent back their ultimate team coins and contacted in the coming days. Five days ago again, we have maintenance resistance on February 6, 8.30 to 9.30. And yesterday, we have identified an issue where the Future Stars Academy Evolution players did not include plus three in visual chemistry. This issue will be contacted in the coming days. And four hours later, this issue has been fixed and all existing items have been updated. So there's a few problems there. Yeah, there's a, bit, there's a few problems, you know, but I'm not, I don't, should I count it? I'll count it out. Okay. The things I do for this channel. Let's count how many there was. Right, so that was a quick count. I think there was about 30. Yeah, I've been recording for 16 minutes. I've not stopped talking. I've not had a break. <clears throat> it's probably telling my voice, but wow. This is why my voice is breaking up. This is why I go on Ultimate Team and I don't even bother connecting to those. I'm not playing your game. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing Ultimate Team. It's why we're doing a player career mode, which you won't even see until April. Because <laughs> I've got loads of videos recorded up for May and June when I do my GCSEs. So what we're doing now is, <laughs> I can't lie. I've been wanting to do this for a while. We're going back to where it all started. Grand Theft Auto 5. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.